Hey guys, Miles here with XDA TV, and today we're going to be checking out one of the first 8.1 builds of Oreo for the OnePlus 5T in the form of OmniROM. So let's get into it. So this ROM has a few tiny bugs, but other than that, it's pretty much a fully stable ROM. And I gotta say, Android 8.1 on this phone is an absolute dream. Having picture-in-picture -picture mode as well as the autofill features makes this phone so much more pleasant to use. OmniROM actually has a few extra custom features in these settings too, so let's check that out. In the style settings, we have our selection of OmniROM wallpapers, and we can also enable a custom header image with multiple different image packs to choose from. You can also enable a little OmniROM status bar logo if you'd like. In the device feature settings, you can toggle and edit some of the off-screen gestures. You have some of the standard Oxygen OS ones here, like V for the flashlight, O for the camera, and stuff like that. We also have some extra ambient display settings. We can toggle pulsing the notifications when doing a hand wave, when removing the phone from your pocket, and when the phone's being picked up off of a table or something. We can also edit the strength of the phone's vibration motor, and there are some options for editing the functions of the alert slider, as well as changing some of the display graphics. In the button settings, we can edit the volume button settings, as well as the power menu, and edit the recent settings menu. In the bars and lock screen menu, we have our toggles for double tap to sleep, showing IME notifications, and enabling status bar network traffic. We can also toggle showing media wallpapers on the lock screen. We also have menus for editing LED light settings and a menu with some miscellaneous features. So that's pretty much it for all of the custom features that you get with this ROM. Uh, one thing that you will want to know is that you make sure that you remove your fingerprint and pin before you try to go to recovery mode because Android 8.1 won't allow you to decrypt and twerp apparently. But yeah, I've been really enjoying this ROM so far and I'd highly recommend you'd flash if you've been itching for some of those awesome Android Oreo features. But that's about it for this video. If you want to check out this ROM for yourself, there will be a link in the description down below. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.